Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'm actually getting ready for work. And last night, well, long story short, y'all know the Sephora sale is coming up. I don't need to be thinking about what I want, but I am thinking about what I want. There's a lot of old makeup that I want, you guys. And one of the palettes that I want didn't do particularly well, but the color story is just fantastic. So last night I made a dupe palette and I'm, trying to just dupe the vibes it's not shade for shade but if you want to see what i created and the look that i'm going to do for work today keep watching this video let me know what you think definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because i'd love to have you back all right let's get started okay so there's actually two palettes in here, two dupe palettes in here by one of my favorite brands. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Okay, so we have Muerte here, a dupe, dupe of the vibes, and we have Millennial Pinks. I remember not really wanting Millennial Pinks, but as I keep seeing it lately, I don't know what it is, but it's like that pink and that gray. I just know that that palette did not do particularly well. A lot of people complained about it for whatever reason, and I don't know if it's something I need to get, you know, even if I can get it 20% off at the Sephora sale, especially if I can dupe the vibes, but knowing me, I'm gonna wanna have it because I'm just, I just love melt, but you know what I'm saying. So lately I've been watching reviews of that palette and like the 420 palette, I don't think did very well, but they've got those grungy, grungy, grungy shades that I love so much. And I'm like, gosh, I just wanna, see if I can work with them because some people didn't like the Beetlejuice collection and I love that. So maybe I would love 420 and, um, and Millennial Pinks. I don't know. I might just be making excuses to buy stuff. That's what it sounds like to me. Rationalization. Anyway, we're going to get into this look because I need to leave in 15 minutes. So this has got to be a quick one. Let me first um, swatch these shades. So we're just going to go from here to here. These came from just all my eyeshadow. I was about to say they came from my eyeshadow singles. Of course they did. So we're gonna go, let me see if I can do four at a time. So we got one, two, three, and four. And like I said, we're just duping the vibes. These um, shades come from a variety of brands. We've got ColourPop, we've got Sydney Grace, we've got uh, Cleona, we've got Give Me Glow. Oh yeah, we do have a Davina in here. So it's just a, a variety of brands. And like I said, this is about duping the vibes, not having the exact dupe shades or anything like that. That wasn't even the right order. This one goes first. These are our first four shades and I should have already put an overlay up of Millennial Pinks so you can see what I'm trying to do here. Next four shades, here comes Marky. Yes, you can watch TV. I don't, I don't have the remote though. Close my door, close my door. Okay, so we got these four next. And then the last two shades, we have the gray and the black. I hope I got time to do a look because I'm just shucking and jiving. Let me do that one again. I'll put the exact shade names in the description box in case you were like, oh my gosh, I really like this. Or I might, maybe I'll just uh, put overlays on. I'll do something because I know I'm kind of rushing. But this is a very similar color story to Millennial Pinks, may even be a bit more pigmented based on the swatches that I saw on Temtalia. So let's go ahead and get into this eye look really quick. I wanna start with this centerfold, this shade right here. I think this is ColourPop. And I am just gonna go ahead and use this as a transition. Like I said, I'm getting ready for work, so I gotta be out of here. At like maybe like eight ten, I can get. What oh, is this pretty? I don't even know if I've ever used this shade. Hmm. I'm telling you, ColourPop be coming in. I'm telling you, they be coming in. You be like, oh, ColourPop? Huh? ColourPop with the singles. Just for what else I'm wearing on my face. I have on the Huda Beauty Jelly Primer and the Stick Foundation, the fragrance free one. I think. There's only one. My Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finishing Powder. I have on my Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. It's the shade Tan. I also have on the Chanel Blush. You know the one from the holiday. 
the chains. <laughs> I love saying that. You know the one with the chains on it. And then for lipstick, I have on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And it is the shade Visionary. And then on top of that, I have a NYX lipstick in the shade Violet Smoke. This is old, but I love this one. Violet Smoke. I have that on top. I'm going to have my mask on. So when the lipstick wears away, hopefully I'll have the little stain of the matte stay ink. And I prime my eyes with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Oh, my concealer is Pat McGrath, as usual. All right, so now we're going to go, now that we have the little transition, the, transi the transition situation finish, we're gonna go in with a more small, a small, a more smaller, <laughs> a smaller brush um, to get into the crease. I'm gonna take this Dusk Shade. This is by Sydney Grace. I'm gonna just take that and put that in the crease area. Let me know, cause I'm sure somebody watching has Millennial Pinks. I would love to know if you like that palette because I just know there was mixed reviews, but most of the reviews were negative. And I think Tintalia gave the palette a C plus. I don't know why I'm so fixated on it. I'm gonna have to do some more looks with this little dupe palette. This is cute. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to get that in. I'm not trying to do too much. Yes, I'm. So I gotta see what kind of time we working with. Oh no, 7.50, mm -mm, I, gotta, I gotta speed up this process. Now I kind of wish I used this, um, there's like a more mauve pink shade. I kind of wish I used that instead of this brighter pink. So I might go over top of this gray with the mauve pink shade. We'll see though, okay. I think that's all I really want to do. I'm going to go into, this is Passion by Davina. Okay, and I'm going to just kind of go over top. Now, Davina ones, you, you definitely want to, yeah, that, see, that's more of the pink I'm looking for. You definitely want to tap off your brush with the Davina mattes. Yeah, this is more of what I'm looking for. And see, this kind of blends out, like, the line. Because I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have a little gradient. You know, I'm trying to have a whole bunch of harsh lines, trying to have a gradient. Okay, this is kind of what I would like. Then you kind of see that brighter pink at the top. I feel like, see the deeper pink and then it goes down to the gray. Okay, we're gonna put that under the lower lash line. This is cute, I like it. I don't know about this lipstick with it, but we'll see. We can always change that. Cause if it's too deep of a look, you know I'ma change it. Cause I don't like, um, I don't really like bold lips and bold eyes. I think I, I always say that. It might have to stay though, cause I am short on time. Okay, this is what we have so far. Mm. All right, now we're gonna be extra slick. Cause I like to do stuff like this when I'm pressed for time. So I can still see if I can make it on time. And we're gonna do a, yes, half cut crease. Using this Morphe concealer is just gonna go here and here. Yes, so please let me know if you have millennial pinks and let me know if it's as bad as people make it out to be. Cause I would get it 20% off. I really would. I really want Gemini, but Gemini is sold out. And you know, someone is selling Gemini for $120 on Macari. How about now? How about new, Scott? No, that's like a mess. Why? Well, cause it sold out. And y'all know I get my updates about Muerte. People are selling that whole like Eterno Amour collection, $800. I mean, it is insane. That's why I had to do the Muerte palette. I already did, I did a look with that on, I think my reels, but I can do, I do want to do a dedicated video for that one, for sure. And if y'all want me to go in depth with this uh, Millennial Pinks, it's just sometimes with these swatch uh, dupes, it's like, I, I just happen to have these in my collection. I wouldn't go out and buy, I mean, unless the palette was discontinued, like Muerte. I bought the shades to dupe Muerte because I can't get Muerte. But I wouldn't buy the shades to dupe Millennial Pinks. Well, you know what, let me take that back. If Millennial Pinks is a bad palette, I would buy the shades to dupe Millennial Pinks. But for any other palette, if the palette's available, 
I'm not gonna go buy singles to dupe a palette that's available. Does that make sense? But I will dupe something that I can't get my hands on. Let's do Give Me, come on, Follow Me by Give Me Glow. Y'all know I be giving Give Me Glow a hard time sometimes. But their shimmers are very nice and I'm hoping that it sticks nicely on this concealer. And I think it is. Mm, this is really, you know what? Oh, I just ordered something from Gimme Glow, uh, truth be told. That electric unicorn shade, I could not, not have that. It looks so pretty, y'all. And then the Roses remix, stop playing. Look at that. That's a very pretty shimmer. I think with Gimme Glow, like you definitely need to put down a, a nice tacky base for these shimmers because they can flake up on you. And you need the right brush too. Like this is a refer number two. This is perfect. It's like picking up a lot of pigment and I'm just pressing it in and then I'll start swiping it, you know, after I get like the 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 initial layer down. Does that make sense? What time is it? Okay, 756. I'm doing okay. The only issue is gonna be, be me trying to get these lashes on. That's gonna be the only thing. But okay, this is what we have so far. Mm. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I don't think I'm gonna mess with the black, but I'm gonna take a little more of that gray, Sydney gray shade and just put it here on the outer corners just to soften where I did the little cut crease. I definitely will probably change my lipstick. All right, now for the outer corner, I'm thinking I'm either thinking one of these Cleona shades is either going to be this one or this one. This one is so pretty because it's got that pink iridescence to it. But this one, I can't see. That's what I'm going to go with. I can't see. Because that's how the students act when I taught them to do work. Well, that's how they be acting. They be acting like they can't see nothing. I can't see. I can't see the slide. I can't see what you're doing. I can't see the assignment. I deleted the assignment. What? Yes. And that is all she wrote, my friends. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab a liner. I already know which one I want, which one I want. Here's the look. Okay, the liner I'm gonna use is, where is it? It's Love Drug by Urban Decay. It is my, one of my favorite liners ever. Sorry that I'm not in the camera and I tried to see my dirty dresser. This is Love Drug. It looks like that. Put that on, get these lashes on, and I'm gonna get up out of this house. This is really therapeutic for me, but I do wish that I, this, this uh, what do you call it, daylight savings time really kind of messed me up. I do wish I got up a little bit earlier to do this, and that way I could take my time and not feel so rushed. But you know, it's coming together, I'm not mad. Okay, that's that. I'm just taking this Major Pleasure Mascara with 759. I'm doing good. I can get these lashes on. I might have to put a... No, I got to put them on here because I got to finish the video. <laughs> this is the Major Pleasure Mascara by Nabla Cosmetics. It came in the um, the Trend Mood box. So, okay. I'll just do a little bit down here. I don't want it to be too much. All right. I'll get my lashes on it. I will be right back to close this one out. Okay, you guys, I am back with the final look with five minutes to spare. I am going to just add a little more of the silver to the inner corner, cause I mean, today I am trying to do a big pop. I know the other day I was doing too much <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the orange in the inner corner the other day. I was like, oh no, that was supposed to be a little pop. Just gonna extend it upwards just a taste. All right, here is our final look for work today. Mm-hmm, I like it. Okay, so do I need millennial pinks? Probably not, but you know how that goes. All right, y'all, thank you so much. This is all I have today, but thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out and giving me some of your time. If y'all wanna see the um, Muerte palette, I, I can do a video on that too, cause this is, this is pretty, it's pretty close. I even DM'd Mel, like, can y'all restock it? They were like, oh, unfortunately, no. I was like, unfortunately. 
All right. Well, in any case, until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh,